South Wales turned out to be the wettest place throughout the week with something like 66 millimetres. And there's more rain showing up now on the satellite sequence. In fact, a band of cloud lying right the way across Europe, some heavy rain and thunderstorms right down into the Adriatic. Areas of low pressure wriggling the way across from east to west, and they're going to be wriggling the way through Britain tonight, and that's the low pressure moving up through the North Sea during Sunday. That's the radar picture a little while ago, showing some fairly heavy rain running through Norfolk onto the Lincolnshire coast. And that rain's pushing northwards all the time into northern England, with further rain and drizzle to come tonight through Scotland. It's going to be very misty every way, everywhere, just the odd shower left in the far southwest. But a pretty warm night, temperatures generally between 8 and 11 degrees. Well, not too bad in the south tomorrow, rather misty, foggy start, but then reasonably bright for much of the day. But that low pressure never too far away from central parts of Britain. Looks like we're going to see that uh, miserable start in many places, but already some brighter, showery weather getting into the Western Isles. That brighter weather pushing down across much of Scotland and Northern Ireland during the day, but everywhere a bit cooler than it was today. Often surprising, always compelling. 40 minutes. It is not a very nice place. It will destroy you as it has slowly destroyed me. Barbie, you're beautiful. Barbie was the quintessence of the teenager. And she was supposed to be what you wanted to be as a child. Half the world's earnings are auto-related. Half the world's resources are auto-devoted. And half the world will be involved in an auto accident at some time during their lives. Do you love tennis? Yes, I really do. I feel definitely deprived and I don't get it. And the extraordinary story of the Ukrainian who became Alec the Pole begins a new series of 40 minutes on Thursday at 9.30 on 2. In half an hour, we've another showing of the first programme in the acclaimed documentary series, The Second Russian Revolution, examining the political infighting that has raged inside the Kremlin since Gorbachev came to power. The series includes two extra programmes, revealing details of the events leading up to the attempted coup in August. Now on BBC Two, we go back to the days when everything was fab and groovy. From the sounds of the 60s to the sights of 20s London, as Beatrice and Evie's big day approaches. The opening of the House of Elliot on BBC One now. A fraud. A vicious failure who cheated a man who loved him. All alone. No ladies, eh? Tonight well, on BBC oh, Two, performance. David Don't Mamet's new adaptation of Chekhov's Uncle Vanya. You were angry with me because you think I married your father for my own convenience. If you believe oaths, I give you my oath I married him for love. Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio and David Warner amongst a star cast tonight at 9.30 on BBC Two. Now on BBC Two, another chance to see the highly acclaimed documentary series that took a unique inside look at the struggle for power in the Kremlin. Now updated, the Second Russian Revolution takes Gorbachev's 